Okay, the title, as you already know, is African Diasporic Women Writers, Politics of Resistance, Survival, and Citizenship. The book, um, my interest is in women and gender studies, and the book actually chronicled the ways bodies are circulated, and particularly black female bodies. So what I look at is um, for the main writers, Audre Lorde, who is first generation um, Grenadian immigrant. I also look at, um, there's a chapter in there on Marie Scande, who is, you know, from um, Guadeloupe. Edwidge Nanticat, who is a very popular OK Haitian author. And then in one in my concluding chapter, I look at several different people, Toni Morrison, Jamaica Kinke, because I'm looking at the whole notion of indigenous OK um, religion and practices. But what prompted me writing the book, as I said earlier, is the way OK black women bodies are read, how it's being read upon, and how they're being kind of like, you know, um, how quite often they're being pigeonholed into certain spaces. The opening chapter deals with Sarah Bartman, who was a South African woman who was paraded in London on the streets of Piccadilly. And later on, she was transported to Paris, where she was also showcased um, with someone you know, who had you know very voluptuous shape and you know protruding buttocks. And for the most part, black women okay, were seen okay as freaks of nature. So she was kind of like you know represented as freaks of nature. Okay, when she died, they cut her genitalia and her brains and had it stored in a jar in the museum okay, of man in in um, France. When President Mandela became president, he went and he spoke with Francois Mitterrand and demanded that her body parts be returned home to South Africa. So eventually they returned the body parts home and they had this big celebration, you know, to commemorate, you know, what she's done, you know, for women. And she was celebrated as the mother of the nation. I use that trope a lot in the book. And not necessarily mothers who are only biological, but you can also be um, mothers who are surrogate mothers. And I use her to show that she becomes a representative black female body that has been circulated in the strict sense, you know, literally as well as figuratively. So I use her and I'm arguing, I'm reconfiguring and I'm reinstating her as a South African woman that will get into South Africa.